Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I'm going to discuss a very short topic, and that is that opponents of Islamic banking claims that conventional banking is product innovative as compared to Islamic banking. Actually, they want to say that there is a stagnancy in Islamic banking regarding the product engineering and product innovation. And they say they claim that the conventional banks are more product innovative because uh, on daily basis, on month and on weekly basis, they introduce new products, but Islamic banks uh, are not uh, we do not see such product innovation in Islamic banking. There are very limited products in Islamic banking. On the other hand, conventional banks, uh, they introduce uh, on weekly, on daily basis, a new, a new products and services. So there is a more product innovation. So in this short clip, we are going to analyze this claim that uh, uh, what is the reality of this claim? Is this claim true or not? We are going to discuss this one. Okay, let's start. Let's start with this. That who is more product innovative? This is the conventional banking and we just take these some um, products, or current account, saving accounts, uh, investment accounts, house finance, car finance and other products. In conventional banks, all products are issued on the basis or are, are designed in conventional banking. All of these products have been designed, have been designed on loan contract basis. There is a known contract no mode of finance in conventional banking other than loan they just use one mode of one mode of finance and that is loan it is known in arabic karz aur ye karz ke taur par hota hai yani islamic conventional banking ke andar karz ke ilawa kisi aur mode ke through financing ya koi bhi product base nahi ki jati so current account it means that they uh, a conventional bank gets loan from the depositors, saving accounts, investment account, investment accounts. They get profit. They get uh, deposit uh, loan from depositors and give them profit, which is known as interest, because this profit is on loans, and that is why it is interest. Same as house finance, car finance, and asset financing. They name it asset financing. Actually, they lend money to the client. Who, who buy the asset and they say that because we finance the client to buy the asset so that is why for example if he purchased uh, uh, the house with the sanctioned loan then they call it house finance if he purchased a car then they call it they say it car finance actually it is not asset financing they just lend him money and they just lend him money, lend, the, lend to the client money, and they charge a principal along with a predetermined interest rate. So there is just one mode of financing in conventional banking we see, and that is loan. Okay, now come to the Islamic banking. Current account, it is same similar to the conventional banking. It is loan based in which depositors are creditor and Islamic banking is, is uh, Islamic banks are uh, debtor. But Islamic banks do not pay any profit upon that. So that is why, because if they will pay the profit to the clients, then it will become interest. Come to the next account and that is saving account and investment account. These two accounts are opened on the basis of Mudaraba contract in which depositors are known as Rabul Mal and Islamic bank is known as Mudarib, manager, managing of the Mudaraba funds. So the difference between these two accounts is this, that in saving accounts, clients are depositors, depositors are allowed uh, of withdrawal of money and uh, depositing of money but investment accounts uh, uh, they are not allowed to uh, withdraw uh, their money okay the next product is diminishing musharka it is asset finance through diminishing musharka house can be house can be financed car can be financed any asset can be financed through diminishing musharka so urdu mein musharka mutanaqisa bhi kehte hain 
so this is actually compound product a hybrid product this is uh, designed on the basis of shirka that in first uh, first of all islamic bank and client they generate shirkatul milk joint ownership in an asset that the client want to purchase it after that islamic bank gives is, is uh, islamic bank gives its own share on uh, rent on lease to the client on ijara basis then finally uh, at the end of the lease the client want to purchase the asset and islamic bank sells it to the client so actually diminishing musharaka is comprises through three types of different contracts one shirka ijara and sale next contract is kar ijara it is a lease in which islamic bank plays the role of lessor as an owner of the car then the client uh, play plays the role of lessee and all the risks associated with ownership of the asset are borne by islamic banks not by the client this is the difference between islamic bank and the conventional bank rather in conventional bank car finance is through the lease all risks are borne by client who is known as lessee so that is why we say that that is not lease in conventional like finance that is actually a loan in mpo muraba to purchase order it is a muraba based product and this is sale so this is sale now just count it how many modes of finance are being involved in islamic banking and in conventional banking look in conventional banking one Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these six products and all other products are just they have been designed, modified, issued, launched on the basis of just loan contract, and that is one mode of finance. And on the contrary, in Islamic banking, all these products uh, they they have been designed and launched and issued on different contracts number 1 loan then mudarba then shirka ijara and sale hybrid then the lease and then the sale so how conventional bankers can claim that uh, islamic banks are not product innovative rather they say that the conventional bank is innovative how they claim that conventional banking is more innovative so it is not product innovation that you have just one loan contract and sometimes you say that this loan is this a current account this loan is a no saving account this loan is a no car finance this loan is a, uh, uh, this finance it is just jugglery and nothing yes sir for sir lafazi hai aur ye sirf aur sirf dhoka hai aur kuch bhi nahi ye yu hi samjhe aate ka ek aapke paas tukda hai aapne usko kabhi kutta bana lete hain aap kabhi usko billi bana lete hain kabhi aap usko kya bana lete hain so aap samajhte hain ki ji hum product innovation kar rahe hain it is not product innovation okay let's see move the next one in all products in conventional banking in all products you will see that conventional banks there what is the nature of relationship between depositors and client so actually if there are different products then the nature of the relationship between conventional bank and the client should be different agar alag alag products hain to bhai fir islamic bank fir conventional bank saudi bank aur client ke darmiyan jo taluq ki nauiyat hai wo bhi different honi chahiye kyunki different products hain lekin aap hairan ho jayenge ki aapko pata chalega when you will find that there is a just one relationship and that is creditor and debtor relationship between conventional bank and the depositor puri ki puri jitni products saudi bank ke andar jari hoti hain un sab ke andar sirf ek hi taluq paya jata hai aur wo hai creditor aur debtor ka relationship kyun isliye ki unke paas mode of finance hi sirf ek hai jabki islamic bank ki taraf aayenge in current account Uh, islamic banks are debtor while depositors are creditor in saving and mudarba and same in mudarba based deposit saving and investment accounts islamic banks are mudarib depositors are rabbul mal and uh, in the diminishing musharaka first they are uh, islamic banks and depositor uh, client are partners 
شریک ہوتے ہیں دین دے سائن اجارہ کانٹریکٹ دین اسلامک بینک پلیز ایز اے لیسار رول اینڈ دا کلائنٹ پلیز ایز اے لیسی رول دین آفٹر دیٹ وین سیل ایگزیکیوٹڈ دین دے پلے ایز اے اسلامک بینک ایز سیلر اینڈ دا کلائنٹ ایز بائر ان لیز کانٹریکٹ کار اجارہ اسلامک بینک پلیز رول ایز اے لیسار وائی دا کلائنٹ پلیز ایز اے رول لیسی آل رسکس آر بورن بائی لیسار اینڈ اسلامک بینک کار اجارہ same as in the muraba to purchase order islamic bank is seller and the client is buyer so look in islamic bank that if there are different products then there is a there are different uh, types of uh, relationship between islamic bank and the client and even islamic banks are being uh, are being risk they are bearing risk on their products as a partner as a lessor but there is a no risk upon conventional bank all risks are transferred toward the client but it means that here zero risk conventional banks are bearing zero risk but making profit on the contrary in islamic banks they are bearing risk their risk is greater than zero and they are earning profit that is known as profit devolves with the liability of loss al khiraj bid daman sharia principle says that if one makes profit if one wants to make profit one must be a risk of loss then islamic banks are bearing risk so that is why sharia allows islamic banking to make profit but conventional banks they are not bearing any risk but they are making profit that is why sharia says that this is interest so i summarize that it is just a jugglery to say that is conventional banks are more product innovative there is a more product innovation in uh, conventional bank conventional banking now islamic banks are more product innovative thank you